Hi everyone, Chris here again. I hope you're all doing great. Today, what I'm doing is sharing with you a few tips on how you can boost your profits. You'll make a profit for every match bet that you complete correctly, as long as you follow the steps and you go through the process in the right way, you will make a profit. But there are certain ways that you can improve the profits that you make. You can make more profit just by following a few simple habits. Once you understand the concept of match betting, it is easy to do, but there are some sort of skill levels in it and the people that go on to really make a lot in match betting and the people that make a lot every week and every month tend to follow the similar sorts of habits, um, similar habits to each other. So that's what I wanted to highlight. And I wanted to show you a few things that you can do, easy steps to implement that will improve your match betting and your profits. So let's go. Up on the screen here, I've got one of our coaching guides. These are things that you'll see when you're a premium member and what they basically are is uh, breakdowns of certain concepts of match betting and they're in little bite-sized chunks that you learn as you go along. As time goes on we're adding more and more videos to each one so that you'll have the written instructions and also a video instruction if that's what you prefer. This particular one is all about boosting your profits so let's go through it together now. The first way that you can boost your profits is by selecting matches at higher odds for your free bets to maximize the profit. Now you might be familiar with this concept already but let me give you a quick example so I've pulled up some events on the odds matcher here let's just skip through and find a few with slightly lower ratings perhaps under a hundred well, there's a lot of uh, over 100 arbitrage opportunities here but uh, let's go with something here Uruguay Saudi Arabia and imagine we're doing a free bet of uh, say 20 pounds right so these odds are really high, like you are looking at odds of 24 on the back and 23 on the lay. But what that means is that out of that £20 free bet, you'll keep £19.12 pence or £19.04. Pence. You're going to keep a lot of the free bet. You know, that's almost 100% of the free bet that you're keeping. Thing to be aware of, of course, is the liability amount. As I mentioned in previous videos, that raises a lot with the higher odds. Um, we can take another example. Say the odds were only uh, 10 and um, 12, perhaps. You know, if that was the case, then you'd be keeping 14 pounds of uh, the free bet rather than the 19 pounds and as the odds get lower the amount of the free bet you keep gets lower so how do you use this in reality what you do is you keep some of your profits and the money that you're making in your exchange account so that when it comes to using free bets you can float higher amounts typically i actually have a couple of thousand pounds in my exchange account now but it wasn't always like that when i first started i just had about a hundred in there and over time that's built up but what it allows me to do is take things with higher liabilities so if i was doing this free bet here let's just reset it and i was doing that 20 pound free bet I could float that 440 pounds, uh, no problem. So as time goes on with your match betting career, you'll be able to take advantage of these higher odds events and uh, keep much more of your free bonus. The second way to boost your profits is to try and keep your qualifying losses low, especially for the offers that you do for the initial sign up. How do you do that? You look for events which have a better match rating. So let's go back to our odds matcher here and uh, I'm going to use the filter. And uh, you can see here, we can select ratings between 80 and 200%. Okay, so let's try and reduce the odds just a little bit. We'll maximize them at four. Now, honestly, any match between 80 and 100 is a decent match. You will make a profit off that. But if we're talking about maximizing our profit, then you're looking for matches with higher ratings. So for example, this one here, France versus Peru, 98.65 is the rating, which is really good. Say this is a qualifying bet of 10 pounds, then we're actually only going to lose 13 pence here on that qualifying bet. Uh, you can see as the rating gets a bit lower, um, let's say this 98, 
only a couple of points lower, but it will do to uh, it will do as an example. Here, the qualifying loss on ten pounds is going to be sixteen pence or seventeen pence uh, instead of the thirteen pence. So you can see that as the rating gets lower, the qualifying loss gets higher. So always look for good ratings to minimise that qualifying loss. The third point is that you should aim to take between 70 and 80% of the value of your free bet and turn that into cash. That's the ideal scenario. And what that basically is, that's a combination of the first two points. So that is going for matches with higher odds and there's also going for things with a decent rating, things that are sort of 90 or higher um, in order to make sure that you're actually keeping the majority of the free bet. The free bets are valuable, so as soon as you're able to choose stuff with slightly higher odds and prioritize ratings, um, the better you can do that. What that means in reality is finding the sweet spot where you're sort of picking and choosing the events that you're making the match on in order to maximize the odds and maximize the rating as well. You don't need to just jump straight in and uh, pick any event in order to use up your free bet. As long as you're aware of how long you've got to use your free bet, typically that's around three to four days, sometimes up to seven days you've got to use the free bet. As long as you're within that window, you can afford to relax a little and uh, wait for the ideal opportunity in order to use that free bet. Number four is save money on lay commissions where you can. So I've mentioned in previous videos that the exchanges have different commissions. So if you scroll down in this coaching guide, you'll be able to see what the current commissions are. We've got Betfair at 5%, Smarkets 2%, BetDAC 5%, and Matchbook at 1%. Uh, these do alter occasionally, especially BetDAC and Matchbook. They're often moving things around and doing 0% offers and things like that. Um, but if you can find an event which has the liquidity that you need and it has decent odds in one of the exchanges where the commission percentage is lower, uh, that's a great thing to do because it will save you money. Let's take an example of that looking at the odds matcher. So let's find something with Betfair. Here we are, this tennis. So if I were making a qualifying match on here and the commission was 5%, um, this would be the qualifying loss. But if I change that to 2%, as an example for Smarkets, uh, that would only be 5 pence. Um, so that's quite a big difference and adds up over time. Uh, and look out for those 0% commission offers as well. Those can be really good. It can be really handy to keep a note of these commission percentages here because at the moment, our software doesn't actually update that automatically for you. So. For example, if I choose this event with uh, Smarkets here, say, you'll see that still the calculator is by default set to 5%. Uh, we haven't actually got that feature yet where it would adapt automatically to the current exchange rate. Um, so this is Smarkets and it's showing you 5%. But actually what you'd want to do is go in and update that to 2%. That would give you the accurate result. Point number five for boosting your profits is always record your profit. There are loads of studies out there that say that what we track, what we focus on, tends to improve. You know, that's actually one of the reasons um, why people tend not to keep New Year's resolutions is because they set the intention once at the beginning of the year and then they don't measure whether they've actually achieved it or made progress towards it uh, until the next year, until the next New Year. Um, so it's quite unlikely that it's going to improve if you're not measuring your progress along the way and adapting. And we've actually found as well that Profit School members that track their profits tend to make more profit. So there's two ways that I would suggest that you do this. The first way is to go to the tool section on the menu here and go ahead and download the Profit and Loss Tracker Excel sheet. That will look like this. You've probably seen it before. And just go ahead and fill this in for every match bet that you make and you'll have a really good record of uh, your qualifying losses and the profits that you make so you know exactly where you are. And then for every transaction if you want to or just when you make a profit, go ahead into the My Count section, hit My Stats 
and go ahead and log that profit here, add entry. By keeping a track of the profits that you're getting, this really will help you make more of them. And it's also quite nice to put things in perspective because you can look back and have a record and say, yeah, I, I did make this much, that was really cool. And the final thing is, complete every offer that's in the welcome section. So if we go to the welcome offers here, you'll see that there's quite a few of them in different categories. There's ones on the sports book, there's ones on the casino areas, and uh, there's ones that are a bit of a mixture of uh, both of them and tend to introduce a bit more uh, in the way of advanced concepts. But here, you know, we've got 107 offers at the moment. We're going to be adding more bookmaker sign-up offers very soon as well. So just make sure that you go through and you complete all of those because they're pretty easy money once you understand how to do them. So I hope that's been a little bit of an insight for you all. These six steps really do boost your profits, so make sure you follow them whenever you can and you'll be match betting like a pro in no time, taking the most value you possibly can from all of the opportunities that you have. If you found this video helpful, please like it and drop a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think and if you have any other tips for fellow match bettors out there, please subscribe to Profit Squirrel for the latest in everything match betting. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all super soon.